COVID screening at Hawaii public schools is off to a slow start, and some supplies meant for mass testing are being held back just for staff or symptomatic kids. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. After weeks of asking for lists of which schools are doing widespread COVID testing, the Department of Health finally gave it to KHON2 earlier this week. And right away, parents saw some red flags. My kids go to Nanai Kapono Elementary. Oh my gosh, there's a yes. So I was like, wait a minute. I had to ask my kids, did you get a letter from school? Did, were you supposed to give me a letter? You know, and I checked their folders every day and nothing. 161 public K through 12s are on a list of schools signed up for a federally sponsored Operation Expanded Testing, or OET. And about half are marked yes, as in already begun widespread frequent screening, according to the health department. Parents are concerned they haven't seen it, nor have been told anything is coming. If I didn't see the news, I would have never known. That's how I look at it. Like, where is my notice? At least tell me that, hey, this is what we're going to do or this is what's going to be offered. A DOE spokesperson told me this particular school is only using the tests if kids are symptomatic, which has been offered twice. It's making the test available to teachers who are not vaccinated. I asked the health department about that, and a spokesperson said the program is meant to screen tests for a broad number of students and staff, not for individuals experiencing COVID-19 symptoms. But OET is just one path to on-campus screening. The health department went out to local vendors in July to set up a separate program called ELC that was supposed to launch in some schools by the beginning of this month. The state epidemiologist recently told Always Investigating that about 100 had registered for that. But the DOH still can't give us a list of those schools yet since it has not yet begun. They say the National Kidney Foundation, which runs the mass screening at Honolulu's airport, was awarded the neighbor island contract. And negotiations are underway with a selected vendor to administer tests on Oahu. The DOE told Always Investigating that all public schools will be registered for training to be eligible for OET by this coming Tuesday. But given the size of this program and the limited amount of resources available to support it, the implementation of the testing will vary. The feds require the resources be shared with charter and private K-12s also. And I found out the Department of Health met with both the Hawaii Charter School Commission and Hawaii Association of Independent Schools within the past month to outline these test options. 13 charter schools and 16 private K-12s are now enrolled in OET. One shortcoming of the federal OET is that it relies on school personnel to administer. A National Guard spokesman tells me they're standing by if the DOE asks for help with COVID testing. The vendor provides the staffing for the state ELC testing program. We'll continue to follow up as the programs get underway. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.